Today I want to talk to you about rejection, but before we get into it, I would just like to say a massive thank you to NCS who have kindly sponsored this video. NCS is a four week summer program filled with new challenges and experiences that helps you make new friends, learn new skills, push your boundaries and gain confidence. And as someone that between the ages of 15 and 17 didn't have any friends, didn't have many skills and most definitely didn't have any confidence, NCS is an amazing program. I'm going to be working with NCS throughout the summer, so be sure to sign up. There's a link down in the description, and I will hopefully see you all there. The theme for NCS's campaign this year is Feel Unstoppable, and oftentimes when we're rejected, we don't feel unstoppable at all. We feel completely stopped in our tracks. We're taught from a very young age that failure is an awful, awful thing, and it must never happen. But failure is something that is so important to our lives because we can only grow from getting things wrong. I can't imagine going through life without making mistakes or being rejected. It's the only way you grow as a person. It's the only way that you learn humility. It's a wonderful thing, and we need to stop being afraid of being rejected. First off, I think we've all heard about the famous cases of rejection. Incredibly well-known people who were turned down for book deals or record deals who then went on to become massive successes. If those people hadn't been rejected at the very first hurdle, their stories would be completely different and we wouldn't have the art that we've been given now. This is definitely one of the most famous examples, but did you know that the Beatles were turned down by Decca Records? They were rejected by Decca Records in favour of another band, but then they went on to become one of the biggest bands throughout the entire history of the universe, so there's that. Another really famous example is the band U2. Regardless of what you may think of the band or their music, you can't deny that their talent had to be heard by millions of people around the world, and they were actually rejected by RSO Records. You can actually find the rejection letter on the internet, and I'm gonna read it to you right now. Thank you for submitting your tape of U2 to RSO. We have listened with careful consideration, but feel it is not suitable for us at present. That's U2. <laughs> One of the biggest bands on the planet. If we hop on over to the book world, it's very well known that J.K. Rowling was turned down for Harry Potter multiple times before it was picked up. Imagine a world without Harry Potter. Twelve publishers turned it down before Bloomsbury picked it up. And thank goodness for Bloomsbury, right? Now imagine if those amazing artists, at the first sign of rejection, decided to throw in the towel, completely give up, thinking, I'm never gonna be anything, I'm gonna go back to my day job and stop dreaming. Imagine if they'd given up. We wouldn't have the Beatles, we wouldn't have you 2 we wouldn't have Harry Potter! <laughs> A world without Harry Potter, I can't get over it. There are so many other cases as well, such as J.K. Rowling under Robert Gilbraith or Dr. Seuss. Lord of the Flies was rejected 20 times. There are so many cases that I'm not going to name them all here. But if you just look up online, famous rejections, and read some of the letters, it's amazing that these people in the face of failure didn't just give up completely. I thought for this video I would also share some of my own instances of being rejected. I have been rejected for things throughout my entire life. Dates. Um, music auditions. I was rejected by a YouTube network when I first started in 2012. I was also rejected for my first ever job interview. I was 15 years old, and this was kind of the reason I was rejected. It's illegal to work when you're 15, but it was for a very well-known British catalogue retailer in the UK. And it was for a Christmas job. My dad was adamant, right, you're 15, go out and get a job. I wasn't grateful at the time, but I most certainly am now. Thank you, Dad. I handed in my resume to my local store and I got a call back like a couple of weeks later. You know, if you're gonna reject someone for being 15, maybe do it at the start of the process. Maybe vet me out early. You know? It was this weird open audition where you basically had to work in a team with other people who were also trying to get the same job as you. During that interview, I made friends with a girl called Hannah, who I'm still friends with to this day, 11 years on. And after a few weeks, Hannah and I hadn't heard anything back from this store. So we decided to go into the store and ask for some feedback, ask why we didn't get a call back. For my friend Hannah, they just didn't feel she was suitable for the role. But for me, uh, the guy at the counter said, uh, yeah, one of you was 15. And I was like, yeah, but I would have been 16 by the time the job started. Eh, it's fine. I wasn't too upset. I'm kidding. I was really upset. But then a couple of weeks later, I received a call back from a shoe shop who did take me on, and that became my first ever job, which sucked, but... Hey, it was a job. I think a more relevant topic of discussion for me when it comes to rejection is my music. You want to talk about feeling unstoppable? I have been rejected for Battle of the Bands twice. 
No, three times, I think. And in 2012, I was kicked out of my second band in the shadiest way. I've gone into this many, many times. We decided to go on a hiatus and then they reformed with their previous singer without telling me. Hey man, I'm not into Schadenfreude. Also, my German pronunciation is not good. I'm sorry. How do you pronounce that? Schadenfreude. That one. So my first band was a pop punk band. This was 2009, 2010, and I've shared footage before, but I'm gonna share it again. I was 17, 18, I was in college, and I applied to be the singer uh, via a website. They took me on, wasn't rejected. That's great! And then we went on to compete in a couple of Battle of the Bands. Which is basically one of those contests where if you win, they give you like a couple of hundred pounds and you get to brag to your friends for about a week. Honestly, Battle of the Bands is... It really doesn't help you that much, okay? You can't go to a record label and go, well, we won this contest in South End. <laughs> I'm not ashamed of my old band. I'm not ashamed of how far I've come. Because if you look at this footage of me performing in this band, I was embarrassing, really embarrassing. I could not sing a single note. I'd been in the band three days before we had the first Battle of the Bands. Three days and I had to learn like five songs. I was nervous as heck. It was filmed, luckily for us. Um, we didn't win. And uh, I'm gonna watch it back now. We weren't trying to be paramour. Definitely not. Oh God. Ah, oh, look at that head banging! Look at me go! Wow! So much energy! Oh my god, I am wearing the most horrendous flat pumps. I'm reading the lyrics off of the floor. I'm not moving. I'm... I'm terrified. Bless me! This was eight years ago, nearly. I'm so glad they recorded it. I'm so thankful I have this footage. I was nervous, and we didn't win. And I was pretty bummed out about it at first, but I didn't stop making music. I didn't stop trying, unfortunately, for anyone who had to hear us. Luckily for us, there is another attempt of us trying to do a battle of the bands. And they recorded that too! That's me looking at the drummer because he just completely went out of time and threw everyone off. We got rejected. We didn't win. We didn't even get anywhere near the quarterfinals. Um, and I was really bummed out about it again, but I didn't stop. I could have taken that rejection as a sign of, Emma, stop trying. You can't make it. Stop trying to sing. Your voice is terrible. People tell me that every single day, but guess what? I'm not listening! I'm singing over you! That one was just over seven years ago, and I kept trying, I kept improving, I found my voice, I learned how to project, I learned how to pronounce! I didn't give up, even when I was kicked out of the next band that I was in. I started posting my solo music, I made a channel, I started connecting with people, I did tours, and now I can say that I've played Wembley Arena, three times. I've played the O2 Arena. I had my artwork featured on the Apple campaign. My latest song, Dirt, which you can buy or stream now, is currently on four curated Spotify playlists. I didn't stop. I refused to stop. I believed in myself. I carried on doing something I was passionate about, and I found my outlet. I found people who were willing to listen. I honed my craft, and if I didn't, I don't know where I'd be right now. Quite honestly. I don't think I'd be anywhere near as happy as I am right now. There is a saying that I heard a really, really long time ago. I can't remember who said it, could just Google it, but I'm definitely too lazy for that. I also put it in my book. There's also a section of my book, by the way, that covers rejection. You should buy my book. Book. Anyway, the saying is, if you try something, there is a chance that you might fail. If you don't try something, there is a 100% chance you'll fail. Because you didn't even try. 
okay? Work with your odds. Give yourself the best shot you possibly can. If you're rejected by a girl or a boy, boo-hoo, all right? You don't want someone who doesn't want you. If you're rejected for a job interview, make sure you go back and ask them why. Don't be afraid of it, why not? Just say, hey, I didn't get the job, I'd like to get some feedback for it. And improve on yourself, or maybe that just wasn't the job for you. Not every dream will work out, okay? I wanted to be a wrestler, I went to a wrestling school, I found out very quickly that wrestling hurts and I was better at just watching it. Some dreams don't happen, okay? And that's the harsh reality and it sucks. But if you don't try, you will never ever know. You owe it to yourself and your really short life in the grand scheme of the universe. You owe it to yourself and the 80 or so years you're here to give yourself the best shot at being truly happy. And if you get stuck at the first hurdle, if you get rejected, like me, like the Beatles, like JK Rowling, don't give up. Be persistent, believe in yourself. If you had the confidence to try in the first place, you have the confidence to pick yourself up and try again, okay? This was quite a long video, but I hope you really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed making this video. I wanna make more videos like this, more motivational stuff, you know? Comedy's dead, okay? Just, just accept it. It's in a box. The box is off the cliff. Again, I'd just like to say a massive thank you to NCS for sponsoring this video. Be sure to sign up with NCS. They will help you create your own unstoppable story. If you're 15 to 17 and you live in England or Northern Ireland, you can sign up with the link down in the description. I'm working with NCS throughout the summer. Now, I'm gonna stop reminiscing about the times I was rejected and go and work on my debut album. Catch you later.